friends. So I noticed that Costco brought back this wine advent calendar. <clears throat> I believe last year was the first year they had it and I did not get it. This year I saw it and it was about $100 for the wine advent calendar. And it's 24 bottles of 375 ml bottles. Um, so I checked like a regular size bottle and it's double that. So 750 mils. So that way um, it's enough each bottle to share with someone you love, your significant other. And so um, we're going to do a wine tasting and see if we like this variety enough to get it for special people that we care about the following year. I mean, if the wines aren't very good, then we won't do it again. But <clears throat> it's good to know I'm not a huge wine drinker. And I just felt like having it this time because I normally don't. And I've been wanting to have, have some wine. And I did not join any type of wine club or anything like that. So um, each day we're going to showcase a different kind of wine. Now I had, I'm going to open it and then let's see what's in there. So I opened the box and I'm telling you it is very heavy this box. 24 bottles I mean you can imagine. So they're kind of like listed from, um, they're numbered from 1 through 24. So it's kind of random, so you'll have to find, so one, two, where's three, so it's just random to 24. And let's see what it says here. Use your phone to scan this QR code to learn more about these wines inside, wineadventure.com. Very cute. <laughs> and here's the QR code. I'm not sure if it'll work for you. And the first wine, I have to admit, let's see, the first wine is, and it, oh my goodness, it pulls out just like that. It is called Right Hook Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon Bulgaria. Let's see, Thracian Lowlands PGI. So, if it weren't, it's 12.5% alcohol by volume. If it weren't uh, wine, I wouldn't have gotten it. If it was, they do have a, a Advent beer um, calendar at Costco, but I am not a huge... I like beer, but I'm not like gonna spend my money on that. I'd rather spend it on on wine. So I'm gonna chill this and then I'm gonna try it and tell you how it tastes. So I'm gonna go through every single bottle with you and let you know if this is worth buying for your friends and family. So on this side of the box, it says take a wine adventure. Taste wines from around the world. And like I said, the QR code from earlier. So it is interesting to see what other um, countries, what their wines taste like. And I love how the boxes already got like all these beautiful drawings on them so technically you could just give someone this with a big bow on top or just give it gift it to someone special in your life so hi guys I just poured myself a glass of that right hook wine Cabernet Sauvignon from Bulgaria so let's give it a try. It's nice and dark, dark red. It's very fragrant. Mm. 
This would taste really good with like some steak. It has a very clean taste in the at the beginning and then um, the aftertaste is the like a tanginess. I'm not sure how to describe it. So it's a little bit like a very clean taste at the beginning and then you taste a bit of the tangy grape flavors and aromatics at the end and it kind of warms your throat and tummy immediately. And I'm just resting for the evening and just trying it out and then I'll go to bed. So It's a good way to wind down. Hi friends. So today I have finished the other bottle of wine and I'm going to open number two. Oh boy, it's tougher than I thought. Mm, there we go. Oops, oh no. There we go. <laughs> oh wow. So last time it was a red wine, now it's a white wine. Meadow Moon Chardonnay. Winemaker Select Vino Bianco d'Italia. So Italian white wine, I'm guessing. So that's what I'm gonna chill and then I'm gonna have it and I'll have a taste test with ya. For dinner tonight, we're having ginger beef and it's steaming hot and I've heard that people pair red wine with steak so beef but it just happened to be that I was cooking this and the white wine happened to be the pick of choice for today so we'll see how they pair together hello friends so I am trying that white wine the Chardonnay and it doesn't have very much bubbly um, obviously it's not a champagne it's a wine it's very um, tangy at the very beginning and it has a very grape like taste mm, with maybe an um, coconutty taste at the very end sort of and it's very clear very fragrant mm. yeah I just have one little glass like this or a couple and it just helps me to wind down Hi friends, so it's now the next day and it's time to choose number three. Um, or I should have done for backwards, huh? From 24 and backwards. I didn't think of that. <laughs> but anyhow, um, also one glass, one glass per day or a couple doesn't hurt. Um, I haven't been drunk or anything like that. It's just used to unwind and so let's open this and chill it so that we can have it for tonight. And it's good to warm your belly and everything for cool days because we're going to have rain coming up and sometimes it's so hard to warm up because it's been so cold lately. And because they increase the price of gas, natural gas, We've been trying not to use too much and um, a couple years ago we only used um, natural gas, uh, the heater, in January and February 
and last year we tried just February or was it January anyway so two months versus one month so right now it's already really chilly but we're trying to hold off and so this third bottle is birds on a wire red wine blend from Portugal so I'll give it a go let me just chill it and then I'll talk about it when I try it so trying to stay cozy in my warm booties and trying to stitch up a quick little baby blanket and staying warm and dry from the cold wet weather I am enjoying this birds on a wire red wine blend from Portugal and it's a red wine and it's very um, scenty I don't know what to say how to describe it it tastes somewhat like the first red wine that I had tried but a little more a little more tang to it tanginess very grape flavored um, a little stronger than the first uh, kind of wine that I had which I will show you right now so guys don't laugh at me I don't know how to describe wine I just know I like the taste of it and I like champagne so what I was trying to say is this birds on a wire red wine blend from Portugal is a lot stronger than this right hook Cabernet Sauvignon from Bulgaria and um, I'm kind of liking this one quite a bit now what I'm starting to notice is that the red wines they usually have like a cork on them whereas the white wines they just have a screw cap does anyone know if that's the way that they all are or is that just um, what I noticed from the three bottles that I have opened so far in the Costco collection holiday box um, let me know so this one birds on a wire red blend 12 and a half percent alcohol by volume 2021 and then this right hook Cabernet Sauvignon 12 and a half percent alcohol by volume so it's the same amount of alcohol by volume 2020 but for some reason yeah this one has a smoother taste so not sure if it's because it's aged and older I don't know <laughs> I don't know much about alcohol but it does taste good and I am I don't drink to the point of being drunk I just am trying all the different flavors to see if I enjoy them and how they all taste so so far so good um, and we will continue all 24 bottles of wine. Hi everyone. So tonight I'm going to open number four. Let's see what's behind door number four. And I'm going to have to chill it lovely it's a white wine by disheveled taylor koniglici hungary so white wine from hungary and it's a 2021 12 and a half percent alcohol by volume white wine and it's gonna go great tonight with shrimp diablo pasta and it's like that spicy, savory, umami taste with the, the shrimp paired with this white wine. That would taste yummy.
So here is that wine and I'm going to have a taste of it. Ooh, wow, this is really, it is very light, very clean taste, very bright. I don't know how to describe liquor or wine, but it tastes very good. And it's going to pair up well with the pasta. My husband made homemade pasta. This is shrimp fra diavolo. And I love the taste. It, has, it, could be, it can have parsley in it or it can have um, cilantro. But you put in, it's like a spicy pasta with shrimp. So delicious. And with the homemade um, pasta, he made it from scratch. With homemade pasta that he made from scratch. Hi friends, so now it is going to be day five, so I'm going to go open that slot. So by the way, this is empty. Um, I'm going to keep all the, the empty bottles and put them back in here so they're all together. So, let's see what we have for day five. Ooh, Latitude 40 from Spain, Grenache, Gren Grenache, Grenache, and it's from Spain, 14.5% alcohol by volume, 2021, it's a red wine, so, yeah. That's pretty interesting. So let me chill this and then I will have a taste. Hi friends. So I realized that because each bottle is uh, quite big and it's only half the size of a normal bottle of wine but I can't drink it that quickly because my husband doesn't drink and um, so I have to finish this whole bottle by myself and each one is about four servings for me in my little glass so I just do like one or two glasses per evening and then I have to finish the other um, two glasses which makes the full bottle so I have a bottle every other day so I won't finish this advent wine in such a short time to let you know how good the wines are um, before purchasing them so it's gonna be a spoiler alert thing if you don't want to know what kind of wines are in there do not watch the rest of this video. If you do, go ahead and watch the rest of it so you know um, what's in here. But so far so good, the wines all taste really good. And if you're a wine connoisseur and you wanna see what wines of, uh, that are offered from different countries are like, then this is it for you. Or if you wanna buy it to share with your significant other or with friends this is a great collection to buy from Costco so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up all the other ones and then I'm gonna take my time to drink them instead of rushing to drink them in order to post this video so let me show you what else is in this box so day six is going to be and then that way you could check them out and see what they offer here and you can get them. So day six, Divine Pondering Pinot Noir. And it doesn't say from where. North Macedonia. 12% alcohol by volume. Okay, so that's day six, Macedonia. And that way I can enjoy them slowly. Day seven is proper etiquette, 
Chenin Blanc, South Africa. 12% alcohol by volume. White, uh, white wine. Day 8 is going to be... Oh, goodness. Oh, here it is. This is so fun. It's like opening presents each and every day, but all at once here. Crowned Beast, Saparavi, Georgia. 12.5% by volume. So a red wine, I believe. And then day nine. This is so fun. I love it. Ooh, a pinky one. I like that. Vino Rosato, Italy. Puglia. And... 12% by volume. Ooh, I can't wait to try that one. <laughs> and let's see, day 10. The Butchery, Cabernet Sauvignon, Moldova. 13% alcohol by volume. And you know what? Some of these are available at Costco in the giant bottles. So if you want to see what they taste like, you can get the sampler and then you would know if you like it so that you can buy the big bottle for as gifts for um, other people, like the full size bottles, you know. Day 11. Racer 68, Monte Pulciano da Bruzzo, Italy. And that is 12.5% by volume. Red wine. Let's see where day 12 is. Yeah, because I've been feeling rushed to drink them, and I had to start before before um, December in order to get this out. But then I, I know if it takes me every other day, I won't be done by Christmas. So this one is Crush Revener Luxembourg. 10.5% by volume, white wine. Looks very lovely. And 13. Is Classic Cruise. Tempranillo, Spain. A red wine, 13% alcohol by volume. So, so far the 14% by volume was the highest so far that I've seen. And the perfect match, France pays Doc Merlot from France. 13% alcohol by volume. And since you know what order they are in, I mean, if you want the spoiler alert, that way you know th there's red wines and white wines in them and then that pink one. So because I thought they were going to just keep alternating red and white wines. But there's some variation in there and you can sync it up with what you're going to have um, for dinner or what you feel like having red wine one night white wine on another night little ditty Macabeo product of Spain very cute it is 11 and half percent by volume of alcohol 
day 16. Point taken, Bordeaux, red wine blend, France. 13.5% by volume. Yeah, and you can take note of which one's your favorite, and you could get the full size bottles for yourself as well. To me, this beats um, having a subscription to wine because you can taste them all kind of close closely and then you can decide which ones you want. Trebbiano, Italy, Romagna. Here, kitty kitty, <laughs> that's cute. White wine, 12% by volume. Day 18, let's see, there it is. And I'll just go in order when I, when I have them or pair it with whatever drinks I'm gonna have. So Nightfall, Monst Monastrel, Spain. A lot of Spain um, derived wine, huh? 13.5% by volume, red wine. Ring Ring Rose Wine from Italy 11% by volume Cool That's a second bottle of pinkish colored wine Excellent 20 Oh, you know what? <laughs> it opens up um, the other way too Okay, so 20 is going to be Flew the coupe. That is cute. Syrah, France, and it is 13% alcohol by volume. A red wine, I'm guessing. 20. Let's see where 21 is. That seems like a lot of wine that I've been opening up, and it's still going on forever. So here's 21. Are tricky to open. Okay, 21. El Campeon for Neo Pires. Branco Arinto, Portugal. White wine. Um, so it has some kind of makeup of different wines, I guess, from Portugal. 12.5% by volume. I hope they have this next year also, or for years to come. I don't think wines go bad if they're chilled in a, ch in a cool room. Oh boy, this is hard. Strut King Vino Rosso, Italy. Red wine, semi-dry. I like how they ex they kind of explain. And it's 12.5% by volume. I like the chicken strut king, huh? Eh? <laughs> so that's 22. We're getting there, guys. 23. is Seaworth Sauvignon Blanc, Spain. 11.5% by volume. Nice. Oops. 24. The final one. My Sense, Cabernet Sauvignon, France. My Two Cents, sorry. 
13% alcohol by, alcohol by volume red wine. So that is it. We end with the red wine on the 24th day. That would mean you don't have wine for Christmas night, the 25th. Hmm. But I mean, that's the point of an Advent calendar, <laughs> 24. But anyway, that is plenty. And in fact, if you um, aren't much of a drinker, you could even split it up, buy one, and give different friends. You can give 24 friends drinks. And it's not like too much. And it's actually a great idea too if you wanted to split it up. But even with giving a friend or somebody like your dad or someone a whole box, um, it's not very expensive at all for for this many bottles of wine. So, hope you like my review. I have liked the four bottles of wine that I've had so far. So, um, I can update you on the next few bottles that I drink because um, I'm not going to post this video right away. I'm going to try a few more bottles. Okay, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I gave you some ideas on the wines, what to do with it, pair it different nights with different foods, buy it for yourself, or buy it for friends or family, and you could split a box up and give a bottle to each person, or you can give one whole box to somebody special. So, yeah, you there are many ways to go about this. So... That red, the last red wine, oh, I shouldn't have put it away, hold on. So this is the Greenwich, and it's quite a strong wine, Latitude 40 Spain. It's very strong, but very good. Mmm, very fragrant. Mm. It's stronger than the other ones. Um, it's the second best red wine so far. Um, this is bottle number five. This is bottle number six. Divine Pondering Pinot Noir. So I'm going to uh, chill that and see how that tastes. Hi friends, so I wanted to show you that <clears throat> for Christmas uh, you can also make tiny little ornaments and I have a wreath here and a Christmas tree and typically I would just use it as a topper on, on a gift bag or on a present that's wrapped and I also place them on bottles of our apple cider and that's kind of a good way to hand it off to somebody and they will have an ornament for the years to come and <clears throat> I also got this wine a $50 bottle of wine from Costco Austin Hope 2020 Paso Robles Cabernet Sauvignon and I do the same thing to this um, bottle of wine we're gonna have this for New Year's so Happy Holidays everyone, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.